Do you want to save 50 grand on your Salt Lake real estate? This is the most common question we get. Is the market up? Is the market down? Is it a good time to buy? And if you watch our videos, you know we answer this question all the time. But the data is always changing. And my favorite two reports to look at when I'm answering these questions for people are what's called the quarterly home sales graph. And I can customize that for any location, zip code, county, or real estate type. And then what's called the sales per month report. I refer to these a couple times a week, every week throughout the year. And I'll tell you right now, the end of September, early October is always a great time to check the home quarterly update report. Now, many in my industry don't know how to customize this report, but the data I'm giving you is for all home types, condos, townhomes, and single family homes in Salt Lake County. And here are some of the interesting things that I see. The blue line is median price. The green line is the number of homes that came on the market in a given quarter. And the black line is the number of homes that have sold. Now there's a lot you can decipher from these three lines, but I'll tell you what, in up years, median price is always up in the second quarter. And in down years, it's always up in the second quarter. If you go back, there's only two years in the last 20 where that trend was bucked. So you can count on the second quarter being up. Median price high ever achieved in Salt Lake was second quarter of 2022, where median price was 551,000. However, second quarter of this year, just a few months ago, median price was 543,000. It's only off from peak all time by about 2%, in fact, under 2%. And the third quarter that just ended Median price went down just a couple thousand bucks. It went from 543 to 540,000. The third quarter is not always down though. So what does that mean? If you really zoom in and look at this chart that we'll post here in this video, you'll see that in up years where the market's really appreciating, the second quarter sets a new all time high and then the third quarter even blows past that. And sometimes even in the winter, we continue to go up in median price. But in softer years, we typically peak out as far as pricing goes for the year in the second quarter, and then we trend down a little bit in the third and fourth quarter. So you know the saying, they always say, nobody can time the market. That's untrue, guys. You can actually time the market a little bit if you know this data. We don't time it by huge sways, but as I started this video, how could I maybe save you 50 grand when it comes to median price on your real estate in Salt Lake County? The simple answer to that, buy this winter. Of the last five years, there's only two third quarters that trended down from the second quarter. I think that we'll probably see that this year. And don't confuse that with me saying the market is down. We typically see a little seasonality in the market. We see the inventory go up in the winter and only sellers who really need to sell leaving their homes on the market. We typically see sales go down as far as the number of closed properties. Many years, the winter is about 50% less than what it was in the summer and then we'll see median price tick down a little bit. Well, if you shift gears and look at the monthly report, which is more of an Excel table, in 2023, the high median price for any given month was May, where median price was 531,000. The bottom was Christmas that year, where median price was 491,000. That means from May to December in 2023, prices went down, median price went down about 10%. This year, the peak median price wasn't achieved until July, where it hit 556,000. And it's been trending down in August, September, and October so far. So if it repeated last year, which was also a third quarter down year, and we're seeing that again this year, we didn't see it in the prior three years. If that trend continues, we could likely see about an eight to 10% adjustment in prices downward into this December or January. Remember that already started in July, so we've gone from 556 to 539,000, but we could see that as low as 510. So what does it mean? I truly believe, and it's not a sales pitch, that your best buying window is between now and the beginning of January. I often tell people, just think Halloween to maybe Valentine's. If you're trying to time the seasonality of the market, that's the best time to buy. And you'll usually see the most appreciation in any given year 
right after that down window of seasonality ends. So February, March, April, May, into that time of year. So if you really wanna time the market and get your best deal, look to buy sometime between Halloween and New Year's this year. And it's likely you'll see an eight to 10% swing in the value of your real estate by next summer.